So I was reading this article written by the talented folks at Google Threat Intelligence about an advanced persistent threat, APT41, who has been attributed to be from China. It is a pretty interesting read. The article provides the overview of the attack, which details the attack flow and the techniques, tactics and procedures, also known as TTPs, used by the hacker group. The delivery method was found to be via a zip file which contains a shortcut LNK file, masquerading as a PDF. Surprise, surprise. We have actually covered this technique in our previous videos, so if you are interested, give it a watch. I will not be reading off the entire article in details. We will instead look at how the command and control C2 communication takes place in this attack. Right over here, we can see that the malware leveraged the Google Calendar services as C2, which means that the malware will actually fetch commands from a Google Calendar and also upload its results onto a Google Calendar. If we were to look at this sentence over here, it says that the input and output are hard-coded in a calendar event on the date 30th of May 2023. And if we were to scroll down a little, the image also shows May 30th, which verifies it. I did a quick search online and guess what? I was able to identify a publicly available tool, GCR Google Calendar Red on GitHub. And yes, the tool hard codes the input and output onto calendar event on May 30th, 2023 as well. It is extremely likely that the APT41 group took this publicly available GitHub tool, which was published two years ago, and modified it. APT41 version has input and output encryption, whereby the GCR tool on GitHub only uses Base64. So without further ado, let's get started and demonstrate how we can leverage this tool and become APT41 ourselves. First, let's check out what is the requirements to use the tool over here. It is stated that we will need to create a Google service account and download the credentials.json file produced. We will also need to create a Google Calendar and share it with the Google service account. Let's hop over to Google Cloud and see how we can achieve that. If we were to navigate to IAM and Admin, we can see the Service Accounts tab. As shown in the screen, it is required to create a project first. Let's do that. Nice. Now we will be able to create a service account. Let's select the owner role. You can probably limit and scope your service account permissions, but since this is a demo, let's give it full permission as owner. Once the service account is created, navigate to the Keys tab and create a key. Select JSON and this will be the credentials.json file that you will need for the Google Calendar Red tool. Now let's copy the GCR Python script over to our Windows machine. As shown in the script, it uses the Google OAuth and API Python libraries. We will need to download that with PIP pip. We can find this information under the official Google Calendar API documentation page. Alright, this should do it. Let's continue with the setup. Let's hop over to our Google Calendar now and grant access to the service account that we have created.
Under the calendar settings, go to the sharing section and add your Google service account email that was created. Now let's modify the GCR Python script to our email address. This will be my test Gmail account. Let's also change the date that the Google Calendar read will pull and upload commands from. Let's set it to 28th of May 2025 instead of the year 2023. Alright, let's fire up the Google Calendar read and see it in action. Time to become APT41. Google Calendar API is not in use or is disabled. Oh no, we forgot to enable Google Calendar API in our project. Let's quickly do that. Alright, this should enable the Google Calendar API usage in our project, which our service account has permission to access. Let's give it another try. Awesome, it is working now. The first command that will be executed and inserted by the Google Calendar red is hardcoded to be the command who am I. If we were to hop over to our calendar, we can see that indeed the red was able to successfully upload the command output into our calendar in base64 format. Let's decode it with Cyberchef. Awesome. Let's try out a few other commands. This is pretty nice. We are making use of Google services as a C2, just like the APT41 hackers from China. It is weird that DIR is somehow not working. Nice. Even though the Google Calendar Red was published two years ago, it is still functional. Of course, we can further improve this Red tool such as rewriting it in another language, export it as a DLL, and implement encryption instead of using obfuscation method like Base64. Alright guys, I hope you have found this video to be interesting and useful. All references shown in the video will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them all out. If you are interested in learning about hacking a Windows Active Directory domain network environment, here is a playlist available on my YouTube channel where it contains 4 episodes showcasing the attack techniques, tactics and procedures commonly used by an attacker in a Windows domain network Active Directory. It has hands-on technical demonstration of attacks such as crack map exec, bloodhound, how to perform network pivoting and many others. On my Udemy page, I have a free introductory course that explains the core concept of phishing as well. This course is 100% completely free and it showcases the common approaches and tools to phishing and what attackers aim to achieve in phishing attacks, such as harvesting credentials or convincing a victim to click on a malicious payload. The link to the resources will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. Here is a quick shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far. Thank you and I really appreciate it a lot. This is it to today's video. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.